Hey, welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name is Eben and I'm your host. On Synthetic Oil Protection, we show how to exponentially protect your vehicle's engine, transmission, and differentials two to four times better than using OEM fluids. So today we're working on this 2006 Honda Ridgeline. This is the truck version of the Honda. It's a 3.5 liter V6 and we're going to be doing the radiator coolant today and uh, we're going to be using a very special product. I want to go over the coolant we're going to be using. We're using Amsoil's low toxicity biodegradable coolant and what this is is this is a proprietary formula. It's uh, pet and nature friendly so it's not going to kill grass and stuff like that. Really important to have that and it's compatible with all coolants. And basically all you do is you mix this 50-50 with distilled water and the distilled water keeps the minerals and deposits out of the aluminum uh, in your engine. Also, this has additives in it that don't allow it to pit the aluminum. So it's very good for your engine and extends the life. It's good for about five years, 150,000 miles. And the second thing we're gonna be putting in as well is we're gonna be putting in our Dominator Coolant Boost. What this does is it allows your vehicle to warm up twice as fast that's right twice as fast and it also allows it to run up to 25 degrees cooler i'm going to show you the specs on it right now so this is the amsoil technical bulletin on this product this is the dominator coolant boost you can add this to any radiator coolant not going to hurt anything and basically what it does is it reduces engine temps up to 25 degrees helps it warm up 54 percent faster so basically if you live somewhere really cold uh, when you start your car, it's cold, the oil's cold, and it's very tough to circulate the oil. Well, the quicker you warm it up, you're going to warm that oil up quicker. You're going to have less wear. Also, you're going to burn less gas. So this is going to save you gas when uh, you warm up your vehicle because the longer you're on idle up, the more gas is being put in the engine. And also, you get more blow-by when you're on idle up. When the engine's cold, you get more gas that blows by, it goes by the cylinder, and then it ends up going in the motor oil. If you guys are new to the channel and you're interested in exponentially protecting your vehicles, definitely consider subscribing. You just hit the little subscribe button right here, and then you go ahead and tap the notification bell. And that way you'll get new notifications when my new video comes up. All right, so before we can fill her up with this stuff, we gotta go ahead and drain her down. Let's do it. All right, before we go ahead and drain her down on the little pet cock below, we're gonna go ahead and open up our coolant bottle right here. This has no pressure, so no need to worry about that. And then this is our pressurized system. You wanna make sure the car cooled down before you open it. If you open it while it's hot, it's gonna shoot all over you. So make sure it's cool. Just go ahead and open her up. That's it, she's open. And uh, now all we do is drain her down from the bottom. All right, so when you get the petcock, you're going to twist it from the bottom. Basically, you come right underneath the front of the car, and you're going to see this little hole here. Basically, you go right through here, and then the petcock is right up in there. All right, so you can just see the end of the petcock there. It's tough to get focused on it, but that's the very end. You just reach up with your hand and twist it. We got her uh, loose. We used a little pair of needle nose pliers and then ended up being a little harder than I expected to turn it. And now all we do is just loosen her up. That is a stickler. Wow. That ended up being harder than I expected. Man, that's a stickler to get up in there. All right, just let her drain down. All right, so it's been uh, about 10, 15 minutes. We let it drain down. And uh, I would say about two and a half quarts came out. So I think uh, the coolant was a little low in this thing. I don't know how it got low, but there was nothing in the reservoir either. So good thing we caught it early. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump through about two quarts through the radiator and you'll see it come out. And uh, what that's gonna do is flush out a little bit more um, there's always going to be, there's always going to be a little bit that's still inside the engine block. So, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it. If it 
if it has a half a quart in there or something, it's not going to hurt it if you mix the new stuff with a little bit of old stuff. Um, it's all compatible. We're going to let that run through. Now we're going to go ahead and feel her up. All right, before we feel her up, we're going to put our little, cute little pet cock back in. That's the little plastic piece. Be very careful with it. If you use a pliers to open it, you don't break it. And we're going to thread her in. Then it's time to fill her up. We're going to start off with our Dominator Coolant Boost. What this does is it helps the car warm up uh, about twice as fast. And it also keeps the operating temperatures up to 25 degrees cooler. And uh, it's really a great product for saving gas and allowing your car to warm up much faster. It uh, really helps it out. And you'll notice your car runs better as it's warming up. The, uh, the actual aluminum block disperses heat better. And I noticed a huge difference when I did it on my car. So we'll go ahead and feel her up. This is a small system. So uh, we're gonna put about three quarters of a bottle in. We don't even need the whole thing. You can save this in about 20,000 miles. You can put the rest in because this actually breaks down over time. And uh, after about 30,000 miles, you wanna put a fresh bottle in, all right? Time to put in our biodegradable uh, low toxicity coolant. And what this is, is this is an extra strength. You have to mix this with distilled water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our two and a half quarts first, and then we're gonna finish it off with distilled water. And uh, basically this system, uh, initial fill is 6.6 .6 quarts. So it's a very thin radiator. And uh, usually the engine block keeps about half a quart to a quart. So uh, basically we're only gonna be putting in about five quarts. So here we go, I'm gonna put in two and a half here. Two and a half going in. Look at that gold color. <laughs> All right, we got about two and a quarter quarts in. Um, this vehicle gets driven primarily here in Vegas. So you don't need it to be 50-50. Um, it's gonna be completely fine at 40%. You'll see the graph there. And uh, that'll keep it protected to about negative six degrees. All right. All we do is feel her up with the rest with distilled water until it overflows out of the top. And then we're gonna fill up our reservoir. Just go ahead and fill her up. She's getting close. I think that's it. I think we reached the top. See? Yep, it's leaking out of the overflow hose, which is good, it's cleaning it out. Right now it's actually coming out of the overflow hose into near the tank. I have it just running down on the ground and that's it, I'm gonna dump out the rest. Overflow tank is bone dry, so uh, there's nothing to pump out. If your overflow tank is still full, you actually want to pump out the old stuff with a little hand pump. And then, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill her up. So I'm gonna do about half, about 50-50 in the reservoir so it doesn't freeze. Should be good. We'll do the rest with the still water. It's full about, I would say one third. Now I'm gonna put another third in. And that's it. We're all the way maxed out. Guys, we're here in the Honda Pilot and uh, we just got done doing our uh, engine drain on the radiator coolant. And we got our Dominator coolant boost in and I figured I'd show you guys how quickly it warms up. It's been sitting for about an hour and a half now, two hours, uh, drained all the fluid out, so it should be cool. And I just wanna show you how quick the tack goes up. All right, here we go, let's do it. All 
All right, keys in. I got it turned on. Full, it's on fully on cold. On the count of three, one, two, and three. All right. Let's see how quick it warms up. It's been about 15 seconds. <clears throat> Outside temperatures 50 degrees out today. All right, there's about 30 seconds. All right, it's about 45 seconds. The needle just cracked. The needle's pulling. It's about 50 seconds. We're coming up on a minute. Here we go. All right, we're at a minute. We're on our second minute, here it comes. And this is without revving the engine. So there's no revving. If you start driving, it'll heat up even faster. We're coming up on a minute 30. Here it comes. A minute and 30, right there. So the, the actual temperature of the radiator coolant's well over 100 degrees already, and the motor oil should already be at about 90 degrees, and uh, you're pretty much ready to drive. So that's how fast it is. All right, just wanted to share that with you guys. We just took it out on the road, and we did a couple of uh, good pulls. We were really driving it, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys where the thermometer needle is at. Take a look. So this is after driving it for about 10 minutes, and that's where the needle is. So the needle almost maxed out in about two minutes flat. All right guys, we're all wrapped up on this radiator coolant change with the Amsoil low toxicity biodegradable coolant. We also did our Amsoil Dominator boost, which helps it warm up twice as fast. And now we're gonna be go ahead and doing the rear diff in the transfer case. So definitely stay tuned for other videos uh, with fluid changes on this beauty and we'll see you guys back next time if you're new to the channel Definitely consider subscribing. You'll see the little red tab in the corner and as always if you ever have any questions Feel free to reach out to me anytime. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks